and welcome back to Red Ted Art. First things first, subscribe to the channel. Now here's a cute little Easter treat you can make as a small gift. Um, it's marzipan, or you can use fondant icing if you don't like marzipan, and a little chocolate egg. Um, and we use basically some leftover marzipan that we had from Christmas. You might remember up there, our little marzipan pigs that we did for New Year's because it's a good luck pig in Austria and Germany and something that we like to make. So we had a little bit of marzipan left over and I wanted to make something for Easter. So they're really easy to make. Um, I'll show you how to do these ones, which are sort of the simpler version. Um, my daughter also, who's six, had a go at these ones. Aren't they cute? Little arms and legs, oopsie. There we go, came off my little um, plate. Luckily they didn't break them. So what you'll need is, is um, some marzipan, um, a little bit of food colouring. This one's pink, but red's all right as well. You just have to use a bit less. Um, I've already mixed some uh, pink marzipan up. So you basically just add a few drops and give it a good old squeeze. Now I'm gonna create a nice smooth sausage, sort of for my little creep, um, for my body. In a minute, I'll sort of make sure there's no crack bits actually. If there are, I'll just give it another, another roll. So it can dry out a bit, marzipan, and you don't want it too dry. Right, so that's going to be my body. I'm going to make some little ears. Now, as marzipan sort of dries, it can sort of um, sort of flop a bit, so you just have to keep an eye on it whilst it's drying and just prop any ears up. Now I'm going to sort of pinch it flat and sort of at the top. And I need to make two of these. So I made a little sausage to make the ear, so a little sausage yeah like that and then flatten it and then pinch it at the top so I've, I've made them quite thin the ears and if you want I'll take a little bit off there if you want you can try and give it a little fold you know to give it a little that kind of tucked ear look and I'll try that again on this side it doesn't have to be you know perfect ear so I'm going to put them together like so and put them at the back of my bunny that. Smooth it down. Now I'm going to squeeze in the little centre a little bit just to give it kind of a head and a body and take a little bit more. This is quite crumbly actually. If it's quite crumbly just give it a good old. That's going to beat this whole um, tail and then press it down gently onto your cardboard. Now do it to the cardboard as early as you can. We did it quite late on those, which means that they don't stick as well. So, um, you know, if you do it earlier, it'll st stick on. Then you use a toothpick for some eyes. And then you made all this pink just for the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little nose. I mean, it really isn't, you really don't need very much. There we go, stick it on. And then, if you want to, you can get a, a clean brush, paint brush. It's got to be clean, obviously, because this is food. Get a little bit of the food colouring and you can give it the tiniest little pink cheeks. Now, when it comes to these pink cheeks, less is more. We're always tempted to add more, but then you kind of end up with these really big rosy cheeks. And I think just a little bit looks just right. So that's your little bunny done ever so quickly. Isn't that cute? And then whilst I've been doing that, I've been heating up a hot glue gun and I've got some little chocolate eggs from the local shop and I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue at the bottom. Now make sure it's only on the egg, you don't want it anywhere else and then you carefully put it next to your bunny and make sure it sets. Now of course instead of using a chocolate egg you could make you could colour some more of the marzipan in lots of different colours and make your own marzipan eggs that would be really lovely too. Um, I mean it really is such a simple 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 little marzipan craft and I think it makes a lovely Easter treat. Now don't forget to subscribe please give me the thumbs up and also I would love to hear in the comments what kind of crafts you'd like me to do in the future. Anyway nice to see you bye happy Easter!